Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about Fuzzy MBPT for a solar PV battery DC micro grid system. So this is a simulation model we created for a solar PV battery DC micro grid system with the Fuzzy MBPT. This model consists of a, a 2000 watts PV panel. It going to be connected to the DC bus via this boost converter and this system consists of battery so battery is rated at uh, that rated voltage is 12 to 20 that means we are connecting a, a 20 battery a 12 volt battery uh, that means 20 12 volt battery in series okay with the age rating of 48 and this battery going to be connected to the uh, DC bus via this bi-ration converter so this boost converter right boost converter of uh, solar PV system is going to be controlled by means of the fuzzy MBPT algorithm in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel so why we are using MBPT algorithm because the solar panel uh, character 6 will be non-linear depends upon irradiation and temperature okay so when irradiation temperature change right the peak power of uh, PV panel going to be vary. So I will show you that uh, the PV IV cat 6 of PV panel. So here you can see that. So this is the rating of uh, PV panel. The single panel having 250 watts. And then here we are using 8 panel in series. So totally it can generate a maximum of uh, 2000 watts at uh, standard test condition. That means 1000 watts per meter square and 25 degrees Celsius. Okay. So here you can see that. This is a IV and PV characteristics of the, the considered PV array. So here you can see that the peak point for the different irradiation condition will be vary. So that point need to be extracted. That point need to be maintained in the PV panel in order to uh, get the maximum power, right? So when you are going to operate the PV panel with the remaining points, right? So what happened? You will not, you will not get any maximum point, maximum power from the PV panel. So only in this point only we are going to get the maximum power point. So in order to get that maximum power point, so here we are going to use fuzzy based MBPT algorithm. Okay. So in fuzzy based MBPT algorithm, it going to be uh, going to measure the the PV array detail like voltage and current. So that will be input for this fuzzy MBPT. So when go inside that fuzzy MBPT, right? So this is a fuzzy logic controller used to for a MPPT algorithm right so it receives two input voltage and current right that voltage and current going to be uh, delayed uh, for this uh, single sample okay and then you are going to calculate uh, uh, that mean uh, V of n minus V of n minus 1 okay that means change in voltage okay uh, same way you are going to calculate uh, P of n minus p of n minus 1 that means we are going to calculate change in power okay so here we are going to calculate that p of n minus p of n minus 1 here we are calculating v of n minus v of n minus 1 so and then here we are going to divide uh, that uh, uh, del p uh, divided by uh, del v so this is known as slope okay del p divided by del v so that going to be considered as the one input for this fuzzy logic system so another input nothing but uh, we are taking uh, delaying the sample and then you are going to get the uh, change in slope value right that means for example you consider this uh, del p divided by del v equal to ek here we are going to calculate ek minus 1 that means uh, we are going to delay the sample that means ek minus ek minus 1 okay so we are going to calculate the uh, change in slope condition okay so the change in slope condition and uh, the actual slope right these are the input for this fuzzy logic system so based upon that uh, two inputs right the fuzzy logic going to be generate the uh, duty cycle okay 
so here for that uh, implementation first logic right we already created first logic rule so here I am going to type fussy so here you can see that mbpt right fussy mbpt rule right so here I am going to load that mbpt rule so this is a rule already we created that mean uh, input membership function output membership functions right and this input output membership function uh, is related with the uh, fuzzy rule that means if then rule right so here we are created totally 49 rules okay so based upon that variation of uh, uh, error and uh, that means slope and change in slope right so the duty cycle going to be vary here okay here you can see that the variation of duty cycle with respect to change in slope and change in uh, rate of change of slope right so based upon the uh, variation uh, the duty cycle of the uh, that fussy in front system going to be vary so this this is going to be controlled this uh, boost converter right here okay so based upon variation of duty cycle so it going to be processed via pdlm generator so pdlm generator will be generate the pulse pdlm pulse so this pdlm pulse going to be control this igbt in order to extract the maximum power from the pv panel okay so whatever the uh, irradiation temperature so the pv panel will be extracted at the maximum power point so by means of this fuzzy mbpt in the dc micro grid okay and here we have that battery battery going to be connected to the dc bus okay here we have dc load so in DC bus, in DC micro grid normally we need to maintain the DC bus voltage always constant okay so here we are going to maintain the DC bus voltage is around 400 volt so for that uh, here we are going to measure the load voltage or DC bus voltage and it going to be compared with reference voltage right and then after comparison of uh, actual voltage with respect to reference voltage of a DC bus it going to be processed via PA controller then PA controller will be processed via PWM generator so the PWM generator will be generate the PWM pulse okay this PWM pulse going to be controlled this 2 IGPT of this bidirectional converter so in order to maintain the DC bus voltage constant and also so based upon power balance okay based upon the power of PV the power of load and so based upon these things right for example P that pin PPV that power of PV is greater than PL so what's the meaning say excess power available in the pv panel so then and that excess power going to be used for charge the battery okay when ppv equal to pl so there is no excess power then battery going for ideal case so when uh, power of pv is less than pl right so then load need uh, some power right so during that time battery going to be supply the power to the uh, dc load okay so based upon the power balance right battery going for charging mode and discharging mode so according with the condition of pv power and load power okay so this is a power power balance going to happen in the other uh, dc micro system based upon the condition of pv power load power okay so this control is used for maintaining the dc bus voltage always constant at 400 volt and this fussy mbpt going to be used for control this boost converter now to get the maximum power from the solar pv system okay so next and then i'm going to explain the condition so here i'm going to operate the pv panel with a different irradiation condition so every 0.3 seconds you can see here that the time value 0 0 0.3 0 0.6 0 0.9 1.2 1.5 so every 0.3 second i'm going to vary the irradiation from 1800 500 300 and 10 again i'm going to increase the irradiation to 300 500 800 and then 1000 right so every 0.3 second i'm going to change the radiation and i'm going to see the results of uh, pv voltage current and power and then result of battery voltage and uh, battery voltage current and power and then uh, dc load voltage that means dc bus voltage and the dc load current and dc load power and associate the battery okay so now i'm going to simulate this model
So here I'm going to simulate this model. So initially the irradiation will be 1000 watts per meter square. So here you can see that we are getting around 2000 watts. And then here you can see that DC bus voltage maintained at 400 volt and the DC load power is 1000, right? So here you can see that 2000 minus 1000, so we have excess power. So that's why battery in a charging mode. That means here you can see that current in negative. And also you can check the SOC of the battery is keep on increasing. So battery in a charging mode condition, okay? So now we can see here, right? Uh, when uh, irradiation equal to 800 watts per meter square, so we are getting a power around 1600, right? And then uh, there will be some excess power in the PV. So uh, the battery in charging mode condition, right? With the, the current of minus 2 amps. So when uh, irradiation equal to 500 watts per meter square, the PV per uh, PV per around one, uh, around uh, 1000 watts, right? So during that time, uh, the PV uh, going for ideal condition because some losses will be happen in the boost converter. So that's why the PV will supply some power to the uh, system. Okay. When you can consider right uh, that uh, irradiation is comes to less than uh, 500, right? So there will be a power uh, uh, shortage in the PV to supply the load. So what will be happen during that time, right? So during that time battery will be supply the power to the low that mean uh, that mean uh, power requirement excess power requirement right for the uh, load right uh, that going to be supplied from the battery. So here you can see that that uh, from uh, um, 0.5 to around uh, uh, sorry 0 to 0 0.6 seconds right uh, bit, uh, battery will be in charging condition. So after 0 0.62, right? 0 0.62, uh, 2.1 uh, second, right? Battery in a discharging condition. So the, here you can see that battery will be in discharging condition. So after that again, that PV having uh, that mean enough power to supply the load, and then it have some excess power, right? So that excess power used to for charge the battery. Okay. So here you can see that battery will be going for charging mode. Okay. So, so this is working of uh, solar PV battery DC microgrid with the fussy MPPT algorithm. So by means of fussy MPPT algorithm, so PV power that means maximum power from the PV going to be extracted effectively as well as by means of the voltage control method in the bidirectional converter, the DC bus voltage maintained constant and also the power balance will be maintained in the system. So this is the working of this model. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.